Hello, this is Alex Eames from raspi.tv. So I'm here at the Cambridge Jam with Albert Hickey. The, you run the Eggham Jam, I run the, I run the Eggham Jam. Uh, it's a quarterly jam. Usually runs uh, January, then quarterly after that, January, April. So the next one's hopefully July. I'm trying to get the date sorted. Okay. The next one is October. Brilliant. We've done seven of them so far. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's good fun. It's, it's very much a show and tell setup. Uh, no commercial sellers are permitted, which is a condition of easing the facilities. But basically anybody comes along. We've had everything from about 20 people to nearly 100 turn along on different dates, which is great. Brilliant. So you've got an interesting project here, which is quite unique. Tell us about that. I do. What I've got is a, a version of Flappy Birds that right. you play with your brain. Okay. So it starts with a, a Mindflex band, mm -hmm. which was a Mattel game from, I think, about 2009. Right. Um, and they're available on eBay these days, these headbands. And what they've got is a little piece of metal that you put against your temple mm -hmm. and it reads your EEG, so your brain waves. Okay. And then somebody far more exciting than me figured out how to get an Arduino to decode it. Right. So if you just search for Mindflex Arduino hack, you'll come up with a page that explains all about the Mindflex, all mm -hmm. about the board that's on it, how to solder in the, the two wires that are required, how to, and it also gives you the Arduino code to use okay. to get the data out, which is great. So then the Arduino decodes the raw data from the Mindflex, mm -hmm. converts it into a string, which is then sent serially down the cable, big long wire today. All the way along the wire the to the Pi. Into a Raspberry Pi. That's a, a Pi 2, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be. It's right. not doing anything special while they're mad. Okay. Um, into the Raspberry Pi. And then the Raspberry Pi is coded with Python and Pygame mm -hmm. to play a version of Flappy Birds. Okay, so um, can you demo that for us? I can indeed. Let me see if I can get this to come up. So you got to put on the, the, the headband. It's, it's, it's highly fashionable. And then put little clips on your ears. Right. Just to get the circuit created. And that, that's basically it. There should okay. be a little LED flashing yes. on the side of that. Yes, there is. And if that's working, then we're getting data. Okay. So what you do is you just press space to start. And the more you concentrate, the further down it goes. So I should be trying to concentrate now. And so if I count five times tables, five fives is 25, five sixes is 30, five sevens is 35, five eights is 40, five nines is 45, five tens is 50, I stay at the bottom. And then if it, oh, now it's at the top. For me, if I blink, I don't, my attention goes down. So if I just keep blinking, it moves to the top. And so you gotta try and get through the gaps. The speed of this is dependent on the uh, data feed. So you'll see the raw numbers. You died. On the, yes. You see the raw numbers on the left hand side is right. the data coming out of the EEG. Mm -hmm. And so that's the speed at which it reads it. So it moves forward one every time and you get to move one option every time. But you move to the absolute position. So again, I should be probably doing five times tables and you've got to get through the gaps and get the highest score. So the, the, the looks highest really tip, difficult. It, it, it is challenging. You do, ha you, you do have to concentrate. And the highest score I've seen here today has been about 170. Oh, wow, that's so somebody good. Is, yeah, some that's of the kids are great impressive. at it. It's very, very good. Brilliant. So yes, thanks, thanks Albert. Good fun. I'll, I'll be putting up the code, the details in the next week or so. So I'll, I'll let you know when it's up there. Brilliant. Thanks. Take care. Thanks, Albert. Bye now. This was Alex Eames for raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.